Hi guys, so I've been continuing my work on the plastic hard terrain for the Infinity game. Um, now one of the things that's been really annoying me about the um, about the terrain is how easy it falls apart. Now it's just a friction fit, which is fine when you're dealing with small buildings like this. Um, they stay together fairly well. Well they did, this is actually an upgraded version, I'll show you how that's upgraded shortly. Um, but what you couldn't do is pick it up by the edge here, because what would happen if I take this lid off, give you a demonstration. What would happen if you picked it up is that would happen. Especially when you've got longer buildings where I've got two connected together. So what have I done to, to make it a lot more sturdy and a lot more sort of once it's together it's going to stay together. Basically all it is is two little bits here with a supporting piece of plastic art and on the inside here we've got two little catches like that. Now I've made them so that they go straight from the bottom to the top because I don't want to measure where they are, I just want to basically stick it straight on. So I've cut it to the perfect size so it, uh, it comes out at the right height. And then what happens is you just plonk this down on top. You're not being useless, like that. And then it's really sturdy, not coming apart in a million years, so it's a lot more usable seam there it clips together quite nicely and it's just it's just sturdy it's also a lot a uh, lot, more, lot more firm on the top there and that extends out to the bigger buildings so I've decided to drop the idea of connecting two buildings together it just seemed a bit too much faff and uh, to be honest it was unneeded the the idea that I couldn't just make one bigger building and still make it portable is just was something I couldn't quite fathom. So here it is, as you can see I can pick it up by that edge. It bows a little but it's staying together. It also bows on this side as well. Um, but what it also does is it's a lot firmer on there. And the same with the other one, except slightly different is that I've added tabs to the edges that you saw on the last one and also tabs on the ends here. And exactly the same on the inside just four of them and that just plonks on like that it's together I mean that's a lot it's a lot better to use on the table you can rearrange your train a lot better I'm just really chuffed with the way that's come out I need to think of a design to go on the side here because I've got the windows for the end pieces I've got the doors for the shorter bits I'm almost thinking of having garage doors but we'll see um, so that's just what I want to show you really, that's the, uh, the, the latest improvement to the, the plastic card terrain. And uh, yeah, so let me know what you think, uh, if you can see something I've missed in terms of how, how to make it more usable, then I'm really keen to, uh, to, to hear from you. Alright, stay well guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.